everybody, Spirit out of here, and uh, last time we uh, finished up case three, which was uh, a bit of a trip. Uh, so this time, I guess we're going to move on to case four. So let's get moving. Assault, the tragedy of a past grudge. All right, let's get moving on this. Your tea, milady. Thank you, Cromwell. A client? Please let it be, client. Penelope again? Oh, good afternoon, Miss Penelope. Miss Penelope? What's wrong, Penelope? I saw something terrifying, Mackenzie. You know the circus is in town, right? Yeah, but it's not open yet. No, but I stole a peek. Oh? Oh, jeez. Wait! <gasps> Where did you come from? Hey, don't scream like that. I almost had a heart attack. Where did you even come from? Uh, Chloe? Yes? When did you get here? <laughs> exactly. You don't always need to know everything. But, um, it's my house. The hell are you doing here? <laughs> so, now this is a big case. Yes, but it's a murder case, whatever shall I do? A murder case? Good, good, this is exactly... Chloe! Priorities! Well done, Penelope. See, you can be of use. Okay, let's get started. Is it really a murder case? Yes, it is, it is. Oh, jeez. I'm scared. I'm going home. Bye. Apologies if you hear that in my, the background. My cat is uh, being noisy. Murder case? That's kind of scary. Not to worry, my lady. It must be a misunderstanding. How so? If it were a murder, er, the town would be in panic. But everything is fine. Yeah, you're right. Regardless, by solving this case, you will put Penelope's mind at ease. My lady, what is it, Grandma? There is a slight possibility that a murder really did occur. So do take care. Yeah, thanks. Well, um, I guess we're going to the circus. Oh, not the time. Okay, so I guess we're going to the condominiums to discuss this. Hold up. I gotta fix this. This is bugging the hell out of me. And there. Better. Who is it? It's me. Hi, Mackenzie. Come on in. Mackenzie, what should I do? Uh, report it to the police? Why don't you go to the police? What? If I go to the police, they'll lock me up. Uh, no? Who told you that? Did someone threaten her? Chloe? That figures. I'm scared. <sighs> Tell me more. I saw a very suspicious shadow in the circus tent. And then, and then, 
Go on. It fell to the ground, writhing in pain. Interesting. It was writhing in pain. I see. Bam! Right to the ground, writhing in pain. Okay, I see. <laughs> right on the ground. Okay, got it. <laughs> Is that it? Yep. Just a shadow. Uh-huh. <sighs> Oh, never mind. Uh, what is this? Oh, cool. Hey, you only need one more stamp. But, but, I'm scared to go outside, so I'll give it to you. Okay. Uh. Hold on, I'm coming. Uh, don't you see anything? Can you tell me something? What do you want to know? I'm about the circus. I have nothing to tell you about that. Whoa! Mm, I, I'm, I'm sensing some hostility there. Uh, okay. Can I go to the circus now? Yes, I can. Hi! What do you want? I want to ask about... Uh, murder case? Murder case? Yes. Nonsense! But... Enough! Hey, buddy! No need for that! When will the circus open? When it's ready to open. Ooh! Oh, never mind. Uh... Can I go in, actually? That's off limits to you. But I'm investigating. I had enough. Okay. I don't care about cases that haven't even occurred. Oh, Jesus. What do you want? I'm asking about... Okay. Uh... Oh, never mind. Can I go in here? Hey, Chloe. Hmm. It seems so peaceful in here. It doesn't seem like a murder scene. An LP probably made a mistake. I agree. Murders only happen on those forensic crime shows. I'm so disappointed. Really? Oh, what's this? I'll take that. Whoa! Um, I'll get you all. Watch your backs. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, mister? Have you seen this letter? This. Oh. Whoa. Oh, oh. Hey, no need for that. How dare someone send this, something like this to me. Hey, girl, solve this case immediately. Okay. Get to work. Well... Uh, murder case? Not the murder case. Nobody's been killed. Then was someone injured? Uh, yeah, someone was injured. Who? Circus member A. He was severely injured last night. Uh. Circus member A? B, C, whatever. Call him whatever you want. He's not important. Yeesh! Maybe that's it. He's not dead, so it's not a murder case. Uh, can I talk to him? I want to talk to him. You can't. Why not? He's in a coma. He can't talk. Ooh, jeez! He's in a coma. Oh, no. That's okay. I didn't even admit it. Jeez! I have a lot of replay. Wow! Oh, rude! Okay, something unusual. Anything unusual happen? No, nothing. Ugh. Okay, what about the threat? Do you have any enemies? No, I don't. Ugh. Jeez. However, there may be people who envy my talent. <laughs> okay. Oh, never mind. Ah, uh, this is all limits you, but I'm investigating. I've had enough! 
I don't care about cases that haven't even occurred. Get the blackmailer, you understand? Okay. Oh, never mind. Uh, here? What's the big deal? Okay. Well, I do know that I can... Not a postage... Wait, this isn't? Oh, there we go. And where am I going with this? Okay. Uh, I think I know where to go with this, but... Uh... Hello! Tell me about the circus. The one on the outskirts of town, right? It doesn't seem like it's ever going to open. I know. I was thinking of selling cookies there. Cookies with circus theme. Lions, clowns, jugglers. A variety of shapes and flavors, like dream cookies. That sounds like fun. Uh, is this here? Oh, you collected them all. I sure did. Well, here's your prize. Woohoo. Oh, what is this? A laughing bag. Cool. Aw, that's cute. Well, no, the, the artwork isn't cute, but Mackenzie's reaction is cute. That's horrifying! That's just... Uh, yeah, no. Oh, uh, let's see. I know a lot of about circuses, but... I've never seen a circus like that before. What's so different about it? I don't really know. I thought you said you'd never seen one like that before. Yes, you're right. I've never seen it. Okay, interesting, huh? You know about the circus? Yes, I'm the town's number one expert on the circus. But you've never seen it. That's correct. I'm able to plus so I'm able to postulate a new theory about it. If theories rely on empirical data, I will it will easily be disproved. Uh okay, thanks. Good day to you. Theories about the circ it's a performance. And uh, what what why would you study it? I mean, I, I guess there could be something to said about human behavior or something, but other than that, why would you study a circus? She's trying to tell me the was gesture, she's saying we're open, come on in. Uh hi. Tell me about the circus. I have nothing to say. Uh, hey Daisy, you got value about the circus. Don't you think it's a little too quiet? This place is totally weird. I I keep forgetting the voice I gave her. So, uh, the circus? Yes. When will it start? Enough's enough already. I'm tired of waiting. Was there anything unusual? Actually, yes. The master was there. Uh, the master? You no, know, the master of fortune telling. She had this terrible look on her face when she came out of the tent. When was this? Around well, the same time they set the tent up. Thanks. She's trying to tell me something with gestures. She's saying, we're open, come on in. Okay, I got something. What were you doing in the circus tent? Nothing of co coincidence. You are very angry. You saw me? No, I didn't, but... Very well, listen. I used to perform in the circus. But I never received my... Oof! I never received my salary. Ooh! Okay. I have a story, but I'll say that at a later date. Uh. Ah. So you went to get the money owed to you. No, I wasn't there for that. And what were you doing? I went there to rent a booth so I could read fortunes there. And? Ooh. Oh, dark magic! He was so unreasonable! Absolutely unreasonable! And! 
Woo! Okay, so I do have a little bit of a blurb. Um, I am, by trade, a, uh, performer of sorts. I'm a balloon artist. Uh, um, not working recently because of current events, but, you know, uh, I went to a, uh, a, a fair and a festival, and I hesitate to even call it that because it was dead. Like, completely, like, nobody was coming around. Uh, we, we did have a deal set up, though, uh, where, uh, we would, uh, take tickets, and in return, we'd get, uh, 75%, um, of whatever tickets we turned in. Each ticket was, like, a dollar. So, um, for each ticket we took, we would get, like, 75 cents. Seems like a good deal, right? Well, uh, halfway through the, uh, the festival, it all started going horribly wrong, a kid, uh, a two-year-old kid got into a, a cart and crashed into a tent. He was fine. Uh, a storm came in and, like, really ruined our day, nearly took down our tent. Uh, and to top it all off, somebody came to us, a vendor from last year, saying, yeah, last year somebody ran off with all the money. All I could think was, and you came back? <laughs> like... Like, wait, what? Uh, now, we were, uh, we, we did, like, try to, we did went to get our money. He was trying to convince us to take less. And I think the only reason we got our money in the first place was there was a, there was a cop standing right outside the building. So, we did get paid. Not very much. It wasn't worth it. We never went back. Uh, <laughs> so, heh, <laughs> Here, we're gonna ask her more questions about that. That's my little tangent. Why didn't she get paid? Why didn't she get paid? During our last performance, the circus master disappeared from the show. And he never came back. All the money from the ticket sales was gone. And we were fined for not having an exhibition... An ex exhibition permit. It was total devastation. Someone said he devised a plan to steal the money and run, but I disagree. You don't think he took it? No. He wasn't smart enough to devise a plan like that. And even if he could, he would soon forget it. He could barely remember his hat was on his head. Well, interesting. Circus Master. About the Circus Master. He's absolutely despicable. I get sick to my stomach even thinking about him. Ooh. Did the others feel the same? Only anyone who had contact with him. He was always rubbing people the wrong way. You can understand, yes? Kinda. The ex-circus members. Many of those people live here in town. My run and Myrtle were two of them. They're outside guarding the door. Who else? Let's see. There's Lugo, the organ grinder. There's Dover. He's always hanging out in the pastry shop, wasting his talent. And Beatrice, I think she's a landlord now. Beatrice was in the circus? Yes. She says it's something she wants to forget about. And Shorty, he has a hot dog stand in the park. That's everyone, I think. Alright, I guess I got some suspects. Oh, wait. Uh, one thing I can do then. Uh, I forgot. Uh, hey, uh, about this. What is this? About this handwriting. It's not mine, that's all I can say. Alright. So let's go question some people. Hold on, I'm coming. Hey! About this. What's this? Is this your handwriting? No, but I think I've seen it before. Really? Where? Can oh, I can't seem to remember. Okay, thanks. Or wait, maybe I can get more out of her now that I know she was in the circus. Jeez. Sorry, my cat just did something. Can you tell me something? What would you like to know? Um, ex-circus. Uh, tell me about the circus. 
What are you talking about? You worked for the... Where did you hear about that? Um, well... Oh, very well then. I only joined because I needed some extra money. I didn't really want to. After all that... Uh, I was worked to the bone and wasn't paid. It was the worst. What did you do? I inflated myself and floated around in the air. They called me the Amazing Balloon Lady. It was out. It was the abs. It was absolutely the stupidest circus act in the world. Interesting. Tools. There's tools on the rooftop. Oh, those. They were compensation. I tried to sell them, but no one would buy them. Okay, ex circus members. What about the ex circus members? Our last performance was here in town. Many of them settled here. What are they doing now? Well, I have no idea. You don't? Don't you keep in touch? Oh, heavens no, I don't care to socialize with that lot. Why not? I have absolutely nothing in common with them. Except for Shorty, that is. Shorty? Runs, he runs the hot dog stand at the park. Shorty's the only one who's held a pop, proper job since quitting the circus. What about the other... What about the others? Oh, they're all living like some... Like, bohemians. It's just awful. Okay. Whoops. Oh, uh, uh, I know. Uh, whoopsies. Let me just speed through this. Circus Master! What about the Circus Master? Ooh! Him? Oh, he makes me ill. Ooh. What happened? I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Oh, never mind. Okay! Um. Oh, we've talked to that. Uh, let's go to Lugo the Organ Grinder. Hey, buddy! About the circus. Um. Hey, this your hand right here. Uh, okay, he ain't talking. Uh, shopping plaza. Dover's typically at the pastry shop, even though I didn't see him there. Hey, where's Dover, dude? Now we got the circus. Oh, okay. I, I guess, uh... I guess she doesn't know anything? Where is... Oh, wait! Shorty's at the park, so let's go there. Hey, Shorty! This your handwriting? Uh, oof! I can't reach, cause it's too short. Uh, you're about to talk. Um, circus. Oh shit! Excuse me. Tell me about the circus. Oh yeah, I remember it. Brings back good memories. About the other members. They were all good people, including me. Circus Master? He was an absolutely amazing performer. Forget about it! He was also a terrible person. Stay away from him, kid. Okay. Oh, never mind. Well, I mean... Okay, I guess. Uh... Uh, where is Dover? He wasn't there. Um, you know what? I'll find him next episode. This has gone on long enough, so I'll see y'all later. Bye!